Hey guys, so I hope that you're ready for a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration because I am taking today, most of what's left of today, and then the whole day tomorrow to totally disinfect and clean my house from the absolute top to the bottom. So I'm sure that this video is pretty long and I have a lot to tackle. Obviously with um, a lot of sickness going around, the virus, all of those things, um, it's just really important I feel like to keep our homes disinfected and very, very clean right now. And we had our own set of sickness. I had the flu last week. And so I just really feel like it's important for me to get every nook and cranny possible. Because of what I'm cleaning with, I'm actually gonna flip the camera around and show you guys something kind of cool over here. So I recently switched all of my cleaning to essential oils and Norwex cloths and you guys have been asking a lot of questions about these if they really work do they work effectively those sorts of things I'm gonna do a little test here with a cleaner that we all know and use wipes and then also the Norwex cloth okay I'm gonna take this chicken smear it all over the top of this oh my goodness it smells so terrible so terrible it stinks so bad <laughs> maybe i shouldn't have let it sit out so long um and then i'm gonna put it back over here next i'm gonna take my blue light over this so you can see where the chicken juice was smeared and then i'm gonna take the cleaner that most of us use spray it over the top of this and grab my wipes and of course one thing that you do have to keep in mind is most cleaners you have to leave them sit for 10 minutes to truly do that you have to soak down the entire surface and then continually re-soak it which i don't think many of us do i know i don't whenever i use wipes and cleaners and things like that um, i'm not coming through and continuously making it wet and unfortunately what this does is um, it dries and gets all dried up with that stuff way, way before 10 minutes is up. So, oh, I got a little more cleaner up here. Make sure that it's wiped up good and then we'll do the bottom. So I'm gonna set my wipe over here and take my Norwex cloth and wipe the bottom half, making sure that I get all of that chicken and nastiness all of it wiped up all right i'm gonna grab my blue light here and as you can see it's already drying so it's only been like two minutes and um you can see that there is so much left behind so much and down here we've got nothing but scratches on my stovetop <laughs> i'll go over it really well so you guys can see that there really isn't anything left and up here lots of scary scary stuff left behind. Now the worst part about it is, is cross-contamination. So there's times that we wipe something up like that and say that my daughter puts a little bit of her snack on the counter and as I walk by to throw this in the trash can, I just wipe that up on the counter. So let's go ahead and put this down here where we were all cleaned up. And there you go it put the chicken juice back on the bottom part where I had it all clean. Oh! So I'm gonna go over all of this one last time with the Norwex cloth so you guys can see. And there you have it. It's all gone. When you're done using your cloth, the first thing that you wanna do is take it to the sink and wash it out with warm to hot water. And you're probably wondering how it works. So the cloths are actually made up of threads that are one two hundredth of a human hair. So you can only imagine how teeny tiny that is. So they pick up all of the bacteria and dirt and grime, and then you rinse it out with water, which obviously rinses out some of that. And then whatever's left behind, there's actually silver woven into the cloth and silver is something that they use even in emergency rooms to treat burn victims because it kills bacteria so well. I started out in the entryway and I'm actually dusting the walls down with my dry mop head for my Norwex mop. It also comes with a silicone brush that you can remove the dirt 
as you're cleaning. Another great thing about Norwex is you can use essential oils along with Norwex. So I went ahead and made an antibacterial spray and my cute label is from Bella Design Co. I will leave her link below. She's a small shop and makes lots of adorable labels and things that you can use as you create things with your essential oils. To make the anti back spray, I did a half cup of white vinegar and a cup of water. I mixed in about 10 drops of On Guard and 10 drops of eucalyptus oil. The great thing about your cleaners that you make with essential oil is yes, the Norwex cloth does remove bacteria, but having an extra little cleaner along with it helps so that you don't have to do as much scrubbing. So I'm sure you're wondering, how do you maintain your Norwex cloths, especially with them having silver in them? So Norwex has a special laundry detergent that you see right there in my laundry room in that bag, and you use that to wash your cloths. You don't want to use regular laundry detergent because the cloth will collect it just like it collects the bacteria, and it will eventually clog up your fibers and your silver. The best part is that laundry detergent will last forever if you use it just for your Norwex cloths because you only need one teaspoon in each load of your Norwex things. So the reason that I started in the entryway of our home is because this is where most of the bacteria that comes from the outside comes in. 85% of contaminants come in in the first four feet of your front door. All right, so Norwex also makes a mop, which is absolutely amazing considering what I just said. So I've been using my Norwex mop a lot in the front door area of our home just because I know that it's getting rid of all of the bacteria that comes through our door and eliminating possible sickness in our home. Next, I moved on to the dining room area. The girls had been playing in here and I just picked everything up and put it all away. So if you check out the description box, you'll see that there is a link there for Norwex. I wanted to let you guys know that anyone that orders today will have their name put into a drawing for a Norwex mop. And I will be announcing the winner in my last cleaning video of April. So the reason you can use essential oils with Norwex is because they're non-toxic and they are so powerful in such tiny amounts. So since there's only a few drops in that entire bottle, it's not gonna overwhelm the silver and the fibers. As you saw in the beginning, Norwex is incredible at removing things. So just to show you how well their window system works, I took a stick of butter and put it all over this mirror. Since Norwex cuts grease so well, they are amazing to use around your stove area. And the purple cloth is a polishing cloth or a window cloth, but I use them to polish a lot of different things. Another thing I wanted to note is I washed all the rest of the glass in this room without rinsing out the Norwex cloth. So it still had the butter in it, but it hung hung on to it and did an excellent job.
I also started using wool dryer balls in my dryer just to get a more clean, healthy way to eliminate static and save energy by drying my clothes faster. I add a few drops of essential oil right onto the dryer balls and it makes my laundry smell so good. Knowing that as I clean, all of the bacteria is getting removed from every single surface I wipe over is such a great feeling. And I feel like it's less work being able to do it this quickly. All right, so I climbed up and did the top of these cabinets because it's right above the stove area and there was a nice layer of absolute grime up there. This is gonna become a way more regular thing for me. I didn't realize how dirty it was up there and I feel like it probably hangs on to odors and not to mention bacteria. The first thing I did whenever I started with the stove is I wiped it out just getting all of the debris that I could. Then I grabbed my cleaning paste that works amazing along with the EnviroCloths and went ahead and scrubbed out the bottom of the oven. I was actually pleasantly surprised at how much I got off and whatever was left behind was just stains in the bottom of the oven. Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the Because of the small fibers on the dry mop head, it really does a great job at collecting dust and pollen and of course cobwebs. But right now, since we live in North Carolina, the pollen is so thick and it does get on everything. So I thought while I'm going through the house and doing a lot of deep cleaning, I'm gonna go ahead and use that to wipe the walls down. To be cool, even wear that shirt you want 
said to my friends Think I'm lame Since I met you I am not the same It was not meant to Be a fairy tale with a happy end Girl you take care now I hope we can be friends How could they say I was broken I love using lemon oil whenever I'm mopping. It just makes the entire house smell so good. You are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come up done? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. And again, I reached for my cleaning paste to do my sink. I used to do this a lot in our other house and I kind of forgot I had it. And since I've been picking up my Norwex and really getting rid of a lot of cleaners that say they're natural, but whenever you look at the ingredients, they're actually a lot more chemical laden than you think. I really, really have went back to using this cleaning paste. So if you kind of think of the Enviro cloth, which is the blue one and the gray one you saw earlier, there's a lot of different colors you can color coat your home. So having certain colors for the toilets, having certain colors for the kitchen, that kind of thing. So if you think of the Enviro cloth as the real muscle, it's what removes all of the dirt and grime. And then the window cloth is what polishes everything. I love running my diffuser while I clean. It really just lightens my mood and makes the house feel so fresh. And the good old dusting mitt collecting all the pollen. <laughs> Of course, since I was doing deep cleaning, the couch had to be swept out. Can you guys tell I've got a few toddlers? <laughs> After really digging into this deep clean, I decided to split it into two videos because it was just so much footage. So this is the first half. I will be putting the second half of the deep clean footage out in a few days, so keep your eye out for that. Also, don't forget to check out the links in the description box, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. See